The whole team threw everything they had into the job right from the bat. I think the key thing was that the team come up to speed as quickly as possible and uh, apply our technology to the design in the most uh, time efficient and cost effective manner, achieving the goal of installing these materials uh, according to the, the overall project schedule. The overall job's uh, roughly five months. Assemblies that we could anticipate were ordered right away and systems were put into effect to uh, begin the production at the fab shop. And the fab shop was running 24 hours a day uh, to make this commitment to the client. Everybody really pulled together. So in a, in a typical project, you know, we, we're gonna prefabricate everything. But on this job, we really had to think large assemblies. We really had to think about taking our fabrication to the next level, utilizing all the logistics that the site had to offer along with our own expertise to uh, make this happen. So we went from your typical, you know, one, two, three pieces of prefab that would go out to a job site to really bolting all that together and making these assemblies that were sometimes in excess of, of 40 foot long. We accelerated this work by at least half. Essentially, uh, everything was delivered and in place in roughly six to eight weeks. We've really got everybody involved and, and kind of put the challenges out there up front. So that, you know, consisted of bringing in different contractors and really showing them our plan, really showing them the BIM drawings and getting them involved. You got to make sure you're moving this stuff with the right equipment and have the right people in the right places. I think that one of the things that we uh, took away from this was the uh, way that we build our piping assemblies. Uh, it made it an efficient way to bring materials to the job site in long lengths, which minimize the field joints, the application of pipe hangers uh, ahead of time so that none of that work had to go on in the field. The materials basically came to the job site and went in place like an erector set. Um, all the pipes underneath the floor, so all this piping is done in, in roughly a zero to three foot plane. We were able to move these assemblies up to that four foot, five foot area so these guys weren't bent over, putting the assemblies together, move it over to our uh, shipping containers and slide it out to go out to the job site with our trucking manager. Over 60 tractor trailer loads of, of just piping materials alone were delivered to the job site. Quite a bit of uh, material for the, the piping and pumps and air separators all associated with the large 500 ton chillers were to be installed under the uh, steel platform that the chillers rest on. So the key to that process was for us to have everything lined up and delivered and put on the roof before the steel was built. And then it was simply a matter of us lifting those assemblies up and attaching it to the steel from below. Very tight quarters under the steel, and this was a, a key element to our success in, in expediting that portion of the work. Over 18,000 feet of pipe was uh, uh, procured and fabricated and installed in this same duration of time to see that uh, there was a steady flow of materials in order to have them sequenced and delivered again per the general contractor schedule. Shapiro and Duncan's investment in their fabrication facility and the equipment that they have available there was one of the key elements to not just the speedy construction of the piping systems, but also the uh, consistent quality that was maintained throughout. Uh, it's far beyond what one could expect to see with nothing but field welds. Again, Shapiro and Duncan's team has done an incredible job on this project. Level of dedication and uh, hard work has uh, uh, demonstrated just what uh, our team is capable of and with all the tools made available to us, the sky's the limit. Uh, Shapiro and Duncan has and will continue to prove to be uh, the foremost uh, mechanical contractor in the Washington, D.C. area. We had to make all the same quality and commitment to the customer. You know, the finished product going out would be the same as if we had a year to build this job. The Goliath project that Shapiro and Duncan really lent itself to everything that we believe in in our company, uh, from quality, to prefabrication, to our VDC and BIM department, to our on-site logistics, to our field foreman, you know, really bringing us all together as a team. And that's really what it took to do Project Goliath.